Clean Kicks 973 and it's Money Making Norm. What we have today is the Jordan 11 7210. It's a shoe that released for the 2015 holiday season. And of course, people went crazy for this shoe. This is a shoe that Nike says they made their, the craziest numbers of pairs and it sold the most. And hey, I can't complain. Nike knows Jordan sell and Jordan 11s always sell for the holidays. So what they do, keep pushing them for us. They still got restocks coming out. I got this pair right here, which is the eight and a half, cleankicks973.com. And if you check out this pair, you see it comes in that Jordan special box that it comes in every year. Instead, like the Jordan 11 breads didn't come in that box, but prior to that, everything else and the new 11s they drop always come in this box. Well, the new 11s for the holidays always come in this box. So if you look at this shoe, you see we have that patent leather, but of course, I'm definitely not gonna say this patent leather compares to the, the older pairs and all, but it has this patent leather. It's not all black. It has like a little, like a little, not a, it's not a sparkle, but it has like a little grainish in the patent leather. It's still clean to me. If you look at the soles, it's, it's milky sole, which is clean. You gotta keep these shoes clean, man. But a lot of people like to keep them like yellow because they like that clean look. As long as it's, even if it's yellow, if you keep everything else clean to the shoe, I still think the 11s is a shoe that you'll never pass on. The only thing I'll say I didn't like about the Jordan 117210 is this tumble leather they use for the upper right here. I would have preferred if they had just used a mesh like they did on the um, Red 11s, but hey, you know, they like to make things different. Some people probably love this feature as well to the shoe. What we have on the back is the 23 and it comes in an all black. And then if you look on the bottom, it has that checkerboard right here, which is in a red and grayish um, colorway. And then if you look at the shoes, all clean. And of course you have the jump man, the red jump man on the shoe right here. And then real quick, I want to make a comparison to my Red 11s. My Red 11s were the pairs that I picked up in 2012. DS2, I never had a chance. Well, I did have a chance to wear them, but you know, never found the right time to wear the shoes. Honestly, I probably looked at the shoe like twice out of the box. I haven't even tried them on yet. But I love the shoe a lot. The 11s is a shoe. I won't say it's my favorite pair of J's, but it's definitely a clean pair of J's. All based on this. I love the patent leather on these J's. The cool gray 11s I have as well. I beat those shoes up, but they're still clean. And the only thing that always makes me want to still wear them is because of how clean the patent leather looks. Well, on this pair, I love that it has this mesh material on this upper. And then has that all red so everybody loves it man it always makes you think of MJ and then it has this gray and blackish checkerboard on the on this pair of 11s and then you see that clean bottom of the shoe and then same future it has on this pair it has the red jump man on it difference is on the back it has the 23 but it's running down with a white colorway Let me, if you put them next to each other Tell me what you think. What's your favorite pair? Would you prefer to have the 7210s or the Bread 11s? I know a lot of people will go for the Bread 11s, but let's not be no hype beast out there. Let's just say what we really like, man. Cleankicks973.com. Check us out. And we'll be back with other videos for you guys. Tell us what you'd like to see in the comments. Money Making Norm. And we out.